Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to draw a contour on an unstructured triangular grid using Python. I prepared three input files here, the grid point and grid triangles, and a grid depth. I will use the grid point and grid triangle to create the unstructured triangular grid, and then I will draw a contour on the grid based on the grid depth data. I have separate videos about creating the unstructured triangular grid. Kindly check the video, I put the link in the description. Alright, let us now open the Jupyter Note. I'm using the Jupyter Notebook from Google Collab and I already mount my drive and import the libraries. There are three libraries that we will use, Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib. From Matplotlib, we will use the PyPlot and Tree module. PyPlot to draw the counter and the Tree module to combine the grid point and grid triangle. Now we import the grid point, grid triangle, and grid depth data. Here I set the header is equal to none because all of these three files I don't have a header. Next, I create variable x and y from the grid point data. And on line here, I change the shape of the grid depth data because for the input in the counter plot, the data should be a factor. If we check here, the variable x is a factor, and if we check the grid depth data, the shape. This is a two-dimensional data. So the line here will change the shape of the dev data from two-dimensional to a factor data. Let's run the cell and we check now the shape. Okay, perfect. We are ready to go. Next, in the line here, I combine the x variable, y variable, and then the triangle to create the unstructured triangular grid. Here, I subtract the grid triangle by one to make the first point is index zero. Let's run the cell, and then let's ask creating the unstructured triangular grid. Okay, perfect. Now we will draw the contour plot. The function that I'm using here is three counter f, where the f here stands for fill. There are two input variables here, the triangle and the grid tab. The triangle is the unstructured triangular grid, and the grid tab is the data that we would like to fill in this grid. Okay, let's rerun this cell. Perfect. We are successfully draw the counter field plot on unstructured triangular grid. Actually, you guys can create a counter field plot without creating the unstructured grid. However, the result will look like this one. Because we don't provide a grid, this function will try his best to fill the data on a given point. So my advice is to create the unstructured grid variable first to get a better result like this cell here. Next, I will do some customization, such as change the color of the plot to jet, and then I will add a label in the x-axis and y-axis, and then I will set the ticks, the x ticks and the y ticks, and the line here, I will rotate the y takes 90 degrees so it will be vertical and change the font size into 12 and here I set the limit of the x axis and the y axis because uh, currently this axis is too tight okay let's rerun this cell and preview the result all right so now our counter plot looks much better next on the line here I will adding a color bar to add a color bar we only need this uh, line here First, we need to define the location of the color bar. Here in line 26, I add a color bar and then create a variable C bar. Using the C bar variable, I customize the color bar text and then I adding the label on the color bar. Finally, in the line here, we save our figure. Let's rerun this cell. Alright, so this is the final result of the counter fill plot. If you want to download this Jupyter notebook file, I already upload this file in my GitHub repository, as well as the grid depth, grid point, and grid triangle data. You can use this file to practice. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.